everyone, welcome back to my makeup channel. Ugh. Ugh. Hey everyone, welcome back. Yeah. Why do I always say that? Hey everyone, welcome back. But uh, welcome back to my beauty channel. I am doing this makeup tutorial on this. I had this done on Instagram and I had a bunch of likes on it, so I said, why not recreate it? That's basically my idea right now. Since I don't have any requests to make tutorials, I'm just picking stuff from my Instagram. Which is not a bad idea because, you know, if it's liked a lot, maybe you want to see it. So, this is a bit out of people's comfort range, you know, because I absolutely love out there makeup, purple lips, red eyes, and green lips, blue lips, makeup tutorials. I love the extreme makeup. But, um, if it's not your thing, I get it. I totally get it. Um, but I'm doing red eyes and purple lips today. And, um, I hope you guys enjoy. So, continue watching if you want to see how to get this done. So I'm going to start off with setting my foundation. I already put on uh, Match Master foundation. This is in 9.0. I put that on my face and, you know, cleaned up my brows, did my brows. And I'm just going to put on concealer. I'm going to use NW45. Okay. I'm just mixing NC45 and NW45 and highlighting my face. Then I'm going to set my whole face with Neutral Set by Ben Nye. And just set your whole face. Contouring is up next. I'm just going to use my usual stuff. My Anastasia Contour Kit. And contour with Carab and Espresso. Right now, I should be studying for like three exams I have in like a week and a half. But the endocrine system, the pituitary gland, uh, all the hormones, the reproductive cycle, etc., etc. I should multitask, right? During a, ma a makeup tutorial, I should just be talking and be like, hmm, the pituitary gland, where is that located? What does it do? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be studying all this week during clinical. I have that next week, and man. I don't know, man. I don't know. But I have to find the time to study all this. Face is all set. Now, time for the eye look. It's kind of loud because I'm wearing purple lips and red eyes. And that's not usually a common thing. So if you're not really for, you know, the out there makeup, um, I'm sure I have, like, at least some simple makeup up looks up on my channel now. I absolutely love bold makeup. I appreciate it so much. I love out there um, dramatic drag makeup like I absolutely love those things like when I look at it I'm like all life given with the blue lips green eyes like I love that stuff so um, today I'm just gonna be doing red and purple and I hope you guys like it so let's get started I'm going to prime my eyes with uh, laying low pro longwear paint pot I just recently picked this up because I don't have an eyeshadow base and sometimes I just skip it and just, you know, use my concealer. Or just, you know, use my concealer or powder over my eyes to prep it for eyeshadow. But, um, this is pretty darn good. I went to Mac store and I was like, what paint pot should I get? Because going in between grain groundwork or this one. But I like this one because it gives you a brightening factor and it's not too crazy. You know what I mean? Like stark white base. So I can just use this every single time I do my makeup. And this will last me, like, forever, right? Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. No more Beyonce. Well, what am I doing? Focus, focus, focus. Where's my palette? So my eyes are prepped now. I'm going to go in with Bitten Eyeshadow, which is the reddish beautiful, you know, eyeshadow by Makeup Geek. Love it. I'm going to take a Stunna Lace EB15 fluffy brush just to lay down the shadow on both sides of my eye. So on the inner part of my eye, on the outer part of my eye. I'm going to take it down here as well with the same brush. You could use a smaller brush, but I'm just being lazy. 
and I just bring it across, blend across like that. See, it's hip. This is the only eyeshadow I hit pan on because I use it for every look, but here and it's so good. It's so good. Mm -hmm. So that must be a staple in your collection. No lie, it is so good. So I added handwritten in a crease just now. Now I'm going back in with the end and just blending it in with handwritten. My brow, and now it's just giving more depth to the look. It's coming out a little tad bit more smoky. You can see the brown handwritten just deepens the bitten eyeshadow a little bit. Back and forth, just little by little. And I concentrate mostly over here. Also, hmm, my brow highlight is Nutmeg by Anastasia Beverly Hills, which is a refill pan highlight powder. That's what I use to highlight in my makeup looks all the time. So sometimes in my makeup tutorials, I just skip steps because you want to see me put foundation to set it in contour every time the same products. And I always, always, always list down what I'm using in the bottom bar below. So if you have any questions of what did she put on her face, it's in the description box down below. And I'm just going to go in with a little bit of handwritten down here because I put it up there. As you can see, I have my new eyeshadows down here, and I have my only 14. <laughs> oh my god! At least I found coppery. But oh my god, please tell me nothing broke. So I'm about to like flip out. Oh my freaking god, I'm having a heart attack right now. All my eyeshadows just fell to the floor. All of them. All of them. Okay, rice paper got destroyed. Awesome. Rice paper just fell out and died. What I'm saying here is that I leave at least one of these spaces open so I'm able to pull this out and I just put my new eyeshadow up here. So, coppery eyeshadow. And I didn't even foil it. I don't remember if I foiled it, but do I really need to? Do I? Do I? No, I don't. Okay. It is so vibrant. And I just placed it in the center, blend it. Concentrate most of the products in this ball of your eye right here. And then spread it out. So I'm just going back in a bit and on both sides. I'm just going to repeat the same thing on the middle of my bottom lash line. Use a smaller brush. Rachel, come on. Come on. You can use a smaller brush. Stop being lazy. And just pop it down here. Pop it, pop it down there. So I'm not gonna have a panic attack. I do have I have no idea where I just stopped recording. Like I have no idea. So it could have been the whole eye look just now that I just cut out. Wow. So not even gonna flip. This is the second time I'm recording this video. Because it was blurry the first time. So I did my wig liner. Now I'm just going to apply some mascara on my bottom lash line. I'm gonna throw on some iconic lashes. In the Instagram post, I use number 415 lashes by them. I'm kind of obsessed with iconic lashes. I wear them with everything. I'm gonna apply blush to my cheeks, and it says I used Fever Blush, and that is what we're gonna use. All right, now I'm gonna put on the lip I was wearing, Magenta Lip Pencil. Lime Crime Chinchilla. So what I did was outline my lip, talking and applying lip liner at the same time, and apply Chinchilla in the center first. So it looks like that. I'm gonna apply some highlighter, and I believe I use Gold Deposit at this point in time. But I'm gonna be a rental. I'm gonna wear topaz instead because I just love how it looks. I'm sorry. So that's it 
for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed and you learned something. And you absolutely loved it. So if you did, be, please be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And I have my social medias down below. And if you have any requests, be sure to comment down below. And I'll be sure to, you know, do them. And I will see you in another makeup tutorial. This is a close-up look, though. And yeah, I'll see you in another video. Bye.